you might have, I'd be more than happy to, to answer it to a limited basis because this, this agenda item is, is just simply allowing the district to enter into some type of an agreement. Uh, the methodology uh, set forth in what we do is uh, solid, everybody calls it solid waste management, it, it's solid waste reduction. And I've been doing this um, for about, uh, since 2001 and uh, tweaking it and making it better. Um, there is no cost to the district uh, in the sense or to the end user or to the end user, the, the, the customer. This is totally done on a contingency basis. And uh, that said, uh, we've been, uh, the accounts that we've uh, tackled, uh, uh, fortunately we were at the county and they were, they, uh, they were able to save considerable amounts of, uh, of revenue. Uh, we've had in the private sector, the, uh, the accounts that we've tackled, they've had uh, uh, considerable amounts of savings. So to answer your question, uh, the contingency is uh, contingent upon saving you money. There's an earmark, there's a benchmark, there is no fudging. It's very cut and dry, very clear. So uh, what I've heard today is there is no money, there is no chest money. This is one way that you could probably get a substantial amount of funds coming back and then you would decide where do you want to put them. Uh, there are a lot of programs that are available to uh, implement where the uh, individual campuses can actually recoup some of their uh, recyclables. And if you would like to uh, propose that, where they would keep some of the money for some of the programs that they would want to have in in house or in, in, in their campuses. So in a nutshell, this is a no cost to the district uh, initially, initially and uh, there is no guarantee that there are any savings. So technically, you're not going to be out any money. We come in, we bear the cost, uh, and um, we sit down with you, propose certain implementations, you agree to it, they work, we both share. And I think to give further information, this is your second, I understand, uh, Mr. Haynes, this is the second posting of this type of thing, and I understand you did invite companies to, to uh, basically bid on this type of thing, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, we invited 26 vendors, or we uh, sent notices to 26 vendors, and we only had one vendor submit, and so we did rebid, re and again uh, sent notices to uh, the 26 vendors, and once again there was only one one vendor that submitted. Um, uh, Mrs. Laguardia. Yes, Dr. Vandoso. If I understood correctly, uh, Mr. Lehman. If you don't save the district any money, you don't make a profit. There's so well, we don't get paid. You don't get paid. We, exactly. This is contingent upon the district achieving a savings. And uh, our agreement that we come in, and, and let me just say that uh, uh, this, this methodology is a very unique. Uh, uh, you're not going to find it uh, on the streets, uh, anybody doing it. There are companies out in the nation that do it. The only issue is that this is very labor intensive. You've got to live in the garbage can for a couple of uh, weeks, maybe maybe 30 days. And, and it, it, it is a messy, messy process, but it's uh, we've developed uh, concise uh, data gathering uh, uh, software that uh, or programs that uh, can depict and can let us know exactly what the utilization of that container is. Now, I don't want to give out my secrets or uh, how we do it, but the methodology is simple, and uh, we go in at no cost to the consumer or to the client, we analyze, we propose, you implement, if we save, we share. That's a win-win situation. Uh, this is the, the road to really putting the district, you know, in, in you know, becoming eco-friendly, let's say. Uh, the implementation of recycling is recycling in, in a sense is a losing proposition uh, just i don't know if you, you you're aware that the, you have in policy cl local and legal and i don't think you're in compliance with it the tcq has mandated uh, provisions that you all government entities in in in, uh, in, in school districts uh, per se uh, should adopt a recycling program and, and you I don't think, I think you made attempts to, but I don't think you have a concrete recycling program. Uh, Dr. 
Slater? Yeah, I had a, a question. Um, what is the safety factor? Um, do our employees, are they involved in any form or fashion? You're doing it now. You're just going to do it better. Okay. And my other question, here the, the motion says to provide services and to authorize to negotiate a fee. What is the fee? Will the fee come back to us the so that we can approve the, that? The, well, it's the way it's written. Uh, yeah. Nobody call me to help them write it. Right. Because so, uh, here it's, it's basically giving the administration the authority and they decide, well... Yeah, no, it's not, well, it's yeah. going to come back to it's, you. It's, no, it's, it, it back. it's got to come it's back for ratification. Back. Yeah. But it's a, it, it, it is a percentage that is negotiated. It was clear it's, it should be in your backup in your, what the RFP was calling. We were very uh, uh, succinct, well, very, no, very not. defined. So we won't be paying a fee. That fee will You're be not going to pay anything things. initially up front, period. And if we if we were to propose uh, cost cutting measures, or cost, uh, cut, uh, cost cutting measures, rather, and if they are implemented and the result is a savings, then we share a percentage. That's what you are, uh, in a nutshell, authorizing the administration to negotiate. It's going to come back to you and we might have a discussion back then. Okay, um, the attorney can help me here. Because it says, you know, recommend awarding RFP, you know, 13035 consultant service.